From as early as the 2nd century AD, Arclot Town has appeared on the first maps produced by Ptolemy. The great seafarers, the Vikings, established the town as a permanent port in the 9th century, and this was consolidated by the Normans in the 12th century. By the turn of the 20th century, Arklo was Ireland's premier fishing port, and today Arklo is home to the largest fleet of modern merchant ships in Ireland and the British Isles. They trade worldwide and very seldom get back to their home port. Arklo Maritime was established over 30 years ago to document and raise awareness of the town's seafaring heritage, and has recently moved to its new larger home in the Bridgewater Centre overlooking the Avoca River and within a short walk of Arklo Harbour. The museum itself has been described as one of the most valuable collections of maritime artefacts in the state and is a treasure trove with many curios brought back from the far-flung corners of the globe, all documenting the town's long association with the sea. The maritime collection records a broad range of history, including the majestic tall ships to Australia, the great ocean liners to New York, the Battle of Trafalgar, the Battle of the Atlantic, the Irish merchant schooners and coasters, and the lives of those involved. Material in the collection is as diverse as a lady's shoe left on an Arklow fishing boat following the recovery of the dead when the SS Lusitania was torpedoed in 1915. To the many navigation instruments used from the earliest times to present by mariners to find the way through the oceans of the world. Also on display is a wonderful model of Ireland's National Sail Training Brigantine, Asgard II, and material and tools from the boat building industry of the town. Arklow is home to the first lifeboat rescue service in Ireland. The history of which is well documented in the museum, with displays spanning the 1800s to the modern day. Rigging blocks and ropes are the basic ingredients for any sailing vessel, with visitors to the museum having the opportunity to examine firsthand the intricacies of various designs and the opportunity of trying out a few nautical knots. Photographs of seamen and their ships over the past two centuries. Whales' teeth. Ships' figureheads and uniforms all combined to provide an authentic physical presence reflecting the past rich history for visitors. Indeed, the display of the old Arco jumper or Gansey reminds us of the skills of the women folk of Arklo. Each family is reported to have its own style or pattern. The design of the jumper is unique to Arklo, knitted with one needle and without seams. It provides a protection against the elements for many an Arklo sailor far from home. The museum is open all year round and can cater for school groups and other parties.